right, let me showcase a quick tutorial on how to connect Moonclerk through Zoom using Zapier. The best place to find this information is a Zapier apps and it's under Moonclerk integration and within part of Moonclerk's integration, you can find Zoom. So this is what I find most helpful instead of a bare minimum article that I found on zoom.us. So to connect these apps, you need to create an account. If you haven't used Zapier before, there is a free account. However, there is a limited zaps you can create and there's limited integrations that you can build. For a fitness creative entrepreneurs who are just starting out, I would say the free version will be good enough. So click on connect these apps. Now you're prompted to log in. Once that is done, number one, you're going to name your zap so you can remember it. You can call it, you know, moon clerk to zoom zap. So what's happening here is moon clerk is a recurring payment system, which you're going to sign up. Um, and then after you signed up, I believe the lowest tier is about $15 a month. Uh, once you do that, this will give you an idea of how you can trigger a payment, a recurring payment. For example, it's $20 a month. Zapier is going to recognize that connection. As you can see here, selecting Moon Clerk. And here there are two triggers. So whatever you start with, it's called the trigger. And then later is the event, is the do this event. So number one, that you can select a new recurring plan or just a new payment. Any payment is made in Moon Clerk. So I'm going to select new recurring plan, continue. From here, Zapier is going to ask you to confirm your Moon Clerk account. You can do that, certainly. Um, it will take you one more click at least because my credential has been saved here in Zapier. You click on continue. Now you are able to select payment from what has been incurred. So by the way, you only need to do this once, okay? You're creating an automation. So how I would recommend you do this is as the owner of Moon Clerk of your business, you can create a test payment. So for example, you can create a test payment. You can later refund yourself in Moon Clerk, or you can create a coupon code within Moon Clerk to essentially, you know, refund yourself. So here you can select the value for Fuentes. They have VIP, they have single class. Single class is not a good example because it's a single payment, but essentially the recurring payments are VIP access and monthly access. So I'm going to choose monthly access. Superman is grabbing the data. You click on continue and you can do a test and review here. And so it's going to pull the information that's been collected. Now, in the next step, you're able to create the do this, right? This is the action portion of it. So you're going to you're going to choose the app which has been confirmed, which is Zoom, and you're going to choose the action. Do you want to create a new meeting or create a new registrant? So you're going to register a new person to the meeting that you created. Your Zoom account needs to be validated, which I'm going to do that. Now you can select a upcoming webinar, right? So first, of course, you need to create your webinar within Zoom. And this is creating a Zap is a special thing for Zoom webinar. It doesn't work for the regular Zoom Pro account. So once you sign up for Zoom webinar, the lowest tier allows you to have up to 100 participants, which is the option I use for one of my clients, which is what Fuentes uh, as a family use as well. So right then and there, you can create a Zoom webinar. It's actually very similar to create a regular Zoom meeting. But here you can select different packages you have, for example, weekdays only. Once you select that, you need to then specify the test data you just imported by selecting email. So you're going to go through the motion here, basically select name, and then you can type in the last name, for example, like that. And you can say whether you want to send confirmation email or not. So in this case, uh, you certainly can turn that one on. Or if you don't turn that on, what it means is somebody pays in Moon Clerk, this person gets an email confirmation to say the payment is successful, then you don't need to trigger another confirmation from Zapier. Um, again, it takes a few experiments depending on how you're using Zoom. Um, I would say it's a good idea to turn the confirmation on and it hasn't confused many people. So then what you want to do is hit continue. So from here, what you can do is test and review. A test create registrant was sent to Zoom just now, and you can say retest or continue, or you can say done editing. 
So from here, uh, once you're done editing, you can see the green check marks that applies to both the trigger, which is Moon Clerk. This is the icon as well as Zoom. So it's very helpful. Before this zap, again, this I'm going to call this a test zap uh, to connect Moon Clerk recurring payments to Zoom webinars. It doesn't have to be that long for you, but I like to be very descriptive. Before this automation is happening, you need to turn on, turn this on, see? So I'm going to turn it off because we already have an automation in place. That's it. So here, this is the dashboard within Zapier. Zapier is kind of a weird app. If you don't find yourself highly technical or have never used an automation app like this before, but just stay calm. If it doesn't work out in day one, try it again in day two. I want to say that because given Zapier's limited actions where Zaps, they allow uh, for uh, free memberships. Sometimes you do have to wait for the second day because there are a limited number of connections that you can make with the free app. So with that said, let's take a look at Zapier's different uh, pricing plan. So here, as you can see, it's the free plan and it comes with how many Zaps? Well, five Zaps altogether. We have already used two and the number of tasks, which is a hundred. So to learn more about other plans, just to show you guys real quick here, uh, look at the difference. You know, also there's updating time. So single step zap uh, with a paid plan of $19.99, you can have 20 zaps instead of five. One zap is each new connection or each new automation you're creating. So multi step ones that you can do, three premium apps, filter formatting. A lot of people really like this. You know, again, from here, you can choose how many tasks that you need to manage. I think you can definitely experience with a free option here and it's free forever, by the way, and maybe that will be good enough. Think about it. If you have a hundred people signing up for your, it's a hundred tasks per month, right? For smaller fitness entrepreneurs, you aren't as likely to sign up for more than a hundred people per month, right? You have people maybe canceling more people joining, but it's likely to be within this threshold.